we're looking to take a group of um, practitioners to see for themselves uh, community-led housing in Wales. And the reason we're doing that is because we know from past experience of running peer-to-peer -peer support programmes that it's really when communities see for themselves what's happening in other areas, they can take that learning back into their own communities and develop their own initiatives and projects and solutions. I thought it was um, really engaging. I really like the mix of talking about some of the challenges in housing, building cooperatives, getting different communities together, uh, how do you get finance, how do you get communities on side. It's great to have that sort of a theoretical discussion about that which we had in the morning. But I think there's nothing like actually going out there to actually see a project in the flesh, in the wild if you like. Hi. My name's Luana, I'm, um, I'm one of the residents um, of Loftus Village Association. The whole site is 250 properties, but this particular street, Loftus Walk, we're all members of a housing cooperative that we've set up ourselves. As part of the cooperative, we have um, a shared space as well, which is at the moment a garage with a rear garden and the plan is to convert the garage into a meeting space and you know the garden would be where we'll grow our own fruit and veg. Tikafla, also known as House of Opportunities, um, is youth accommodation for young people between 16 and 25. The idea behind it is that young people wanted support around how to live independently. It was created by young people, it's completely youth-led, it's run by a management committee that is made up of our young people living in the property who are our tenants, people from the community and our young people who have been involved in the whole process. Um, really the benefit is just all the support you get. Because like when I first moved in I didn't know how to bring people to set up like for gas and electric and water. Um, all of the courses and programmes they got on you. It just opened my eyes up to a lot of new things. I like it a lot. <laughs> so the real learning for me today has been the value of people talking to each other and learning from each other and seeing the enthusiasm which really come across in all of our presentations. We're looking to launch our Enterprising Solutions project in October, a lottery funded initiative for three years where there's no barriers really if a community-led housing scheme want to support through that as well as other types of community enterprise then we'd be welcome and open to supporting them. Sow a thought and you reap an action. Sow an act and you reap a habit. Sow a habit and you reap a character. Sow a character and you reap a destiny.